hey guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a snow white lotion and today i'm going to show you how to make a simple snow white body lotion using some of our best selling concentrates now i have combined these concentrates appropriately to give you a very good result so if you like to see this video please keep on watching hey flawless king gang welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Ale Kaliu, and you're welcome to join the flawless skin gang and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by now today we're going to be making a snow white body lotion yes a body lotion a thinner kind of cream okay and i'm going to be using our concentrates to make this product for you just showing you how to you know incorporate it now the first thing that we're going to do is measure out our water our next ingredient is the sodium edta and what this product does is basically to protect the integrity of your skincare products it protects it from changing color um, changing um, smell um, texture just basically keeping the product stable and making it have a longer shelf life now if you are using tap water probably you're making this product for yourself at home you want to add tetrasodium edta and this product basically prevents um, ingredients in, a, in your formula from binding with trace elements like minerals that are present in hard water okay now the difference between tetrasodium and disodium edta is that disodium edta has a ph that is lower than seven right that's it's acidic while tetrasodium edta has a ph that is greater than seven and it the sodium edta contains two sodium cations while tetrasodium edta contains four sodium cations per molecule okay if that makes sense so if you when in chemistry class this will be easy for you so these are the two different um the two differences between both of them now next we are going to add our hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is present here as a um humectant something that basically draws water from the atmosphere or from within the skin or within the body to hydrate the top layer of your skin so this will help to moisturize your skin as well as you know give you a smooth um baby feel on your skin now to hydrate our hyaluronic acid we're going to need glycerin now glycerin is also a humectant it's one of the most common humectants that are used in skincare products personal care products and other um beauty products so i'm going to use it here to hydrate my hyaluronic acid and other um thickeners that i'm going to use like my xanthan gum uh, or carboma so if you don't have xanthan gum you definitely can use carboma or you can use goa gum but i'm using xanthan gum here as a thickener and a stabilizer for this product to keep the product from um separating because making a thinner lotion is kind of more tricky than making a thick lotion sometimes a thinner lotion will give you will separate faster than a cream so um we're using this here as our thickener and our um, stabilizer <laughs> Now, like I said, if you don't have xanthan gum, you can definitely use goa gum or you can use kabuma. So after measuring it out and adding your glycerin, you want to stir it to create a slurry. Okay, this will make it easier to incorporate into your water phase of your formula. Otherwise, if you just dump it into the water, it will create chunks and it will be difficult to dissolve or rather it will take a longer time to dissolve but doing it this way it's easier to just pour into the water phase and it will dissolve beautifully and easier for you 
Next, we are going to take another beaker and get some of the water from our water phase that we have measured out to dissolve our nice cinnamide. Now, this is my water. I'm going to take a little bit of it. So next, we're going to measure out our niacinamide. And um, niacinamide is a very good skincare ingredient. It's a multi-purpose skincare ingredient. And it helps to build keratin, which is a protein that maintains your skin's health. And it is also known to make your skin stronger and smoother and brighter okay so we're adding it here for those benefits next we're going to add d pantenol the dl pantenol and d pantenol is a kind of vitamin um b5 and it helps to smoothen the skin soften the skin it has humectant properties as well as emollient properties so what this means is it not only um, hydrates the skin it also helps to smoothen the skin and lock in moisture so that it you don't lose any moisture on your skin it also helps to improve the texture of your skin and if you are suffering from sunburn um, D pantenol can help to heal it's known to um, heal wounds so if you have sunburn on your face on your skin D pantenol will help to heal that um, sun sensitivity and give you a stronger skin and um, smoother skin now remember we're still working on our water phase so you're going to take another beaker and we're going to measure out our other ingredient now when it comes to skincare products or skincare formulation you have to have the knowledge of ingredient synergy so in this um, product we are using resveratrol which is a very strong antioxidant that can help to neutralize free radicals and increase your antioxidant levels now um, resveratrol may also e equip your skin with tools to protect and repair itself so we're using it here for all these benefits and to dissolve resveratrol we're using propylene glycol which is another humectant you can see that we're using a lot of humectant properties properties ingredients that will help to hydrate and soften your skin so most of the time when we are trying to create products that are skin whitening you want to make sure you are using ingredients that are um that can work together that are homogeneous if that makes sense so um you want to pick ingredients that complement each other and in this case we are picking a lot of humectants because we know we are using lightning actives that are or rather lightning concentrates that will alter the structure or the color of our skin so now we are done with our water phase we are going to put all of this aside and work on our oil phase okay so we take another beaker and we're going to measure out our oil phase and the first ingredient on our list is our btms 50. now btms is a very wonderful ingredient that i love to include in my skincare products my hair care products i know i've not done any hair care products but it has a very sophisticated silky powdery skin feel to your creams or to your lotions due to its conditioning agent that is within it so it's basically a conditioning ingredient now we're also going to be using montanov 202 as our main emulsifier now if you're looking for a natural um emulsifier montanov 202 is a good one um it is an oil and water emulsifier and we're also going to be using cetyl alcohol which is also a thickener in this product to help stabilize the product and also help to moisturize your skin because it has emollient properties that helps to soften the skin and seal in moisture so when we get all the hydration from our humectants we need these ingredients to lock in this moisture we're also using glyceryl sterates which is also used here as a skin conditioning ingredient 
and it also has emollient properties as well that will help to lock in the moisture and soften your skin as well the next ingredient is kojic acid depalmitate and kojic acid depalmitate is a derivative of kojic acid and is considered to be is superior to kojic acid in its whitening ability and it is more stable than kojic acid in your um, skincare formulas so how this works is it inhabits tyrosines in your body and um, is capable of suppressing any kind of skin pigment on your body so next we are using shea butter for its moisturizing properties and then you can use any oil that you want in this case i am using grape seed oil as one of my um, liquid oils and i'm also using caprylic triglyceride as one of my liquid oils as well because it is considered an excellent emollient and skin replenishing ingredient and it is very very nice because it has fatty acids and it can help to resist moisture loss so it's also an emollient as well so here is our oil phase we're going to put that on heat you can use your double boiling method i am using this method because this is what i was exposed to at the time and we are adding all our water ingredients that can go into the hot water phase which is our edta our xanthan gum um, hyaluronic acid and all of that that we have mixed earlier we're going to add them into the hot water phase now i'm going to give that a little burst just to make sure all the ingredients are well incorporated and then i'm going to start my emulsion now to get your emulsion you all you need to do is pour your oil into your water phase and blend vigorously you will blend until you see a milky consistency that is shiny and homogeneous that is when you know that you have gotten a complete emulsion okay now you can see our beautiful cream is creaming <laughs> our beautiful lotion is lotioning now we're going to add the other ingredients that we couldn't add in our hot water phase not like we couldn't add it but we needed the hot the product to cool down to at least 70 to 60 degrees celsius so we're going to add our other ingredients that are nice cinnamide and then add our um resveratrol as well now these are ingredients that we can't add at the hot water stage but we can add it at the point where our formulation has cooled down to a reasonable temperature that will not harm the integrity of our ingredients okay so this is our resveratrol that we are adding please if you like this content Hit the subscribe button down below to join the family leave your comments in the comment section and make sure you give this video a thumbs up thank you go ahead and give that a thorough stare make sure everything is well incorporated like i said this is a lotion so i'm not looking for a thick consistency but you can definitely turn this into a cream which is a thicker consistency if you want all you need to do is adjust the formula to get a thicker cream or add more co-emulsifiers apart from your thickeners or increase the percentage of your thickness just basically play around with your formula to get a thicker lotion now we are going to measure out our star ingredients which is one of them is the skin perfector concentrate now a lot of you have been asking me what exactly this product is it can be anything that you want it to be it is a skin whitener it is a skin unifier it helps to clear out any form of pigmentation dark spots dark knuckles just basically unifying your skin and giving you a glowing dewy looking skin okay now if you use it for a longer period of time it tends to turn your skin whiter and this takes a bit of a t of time but it definitely will with continuous use give you a whiter clearer skin like i say skincare is not a sprint it is a marathon you take your time it is a lifestyle so if you want to get that beautiful celebrity look this product is what you need 
now don't forget to add your preservative i'm using jama plus as usual this is something that is easy for you guys to source and it's cheaper and it's easy to use so it is not ph sensitive it is um a broad spectrum preservative so it is something that you can access now the next star ingredient here is our raw whitening oil now this particular ingredient is what you need if you are looking for a whitening result okay but you have to be careful with the way you use this product because a little goes a long way you have to take it in moderation if you overdo it you might end up creating problems for yourself now our next ingredient is our porcelain water so in this product i have combined three of our most um sought after concentrates to create this particular formula now this will give you a creamy milky um, milky look it will give you a snow white look now i'm going to add that into um, a mixture and just mix that in now you will ask what exactly is the raw whitening oil or the porcelain water the raw whitening oil is a concentrated raw whitening oil okay it has raw whitening properties in it that will take your skin that will change your skin from one complexion to two three four shades depending on how much change you need the um, porcelain water is also a raw whitening water but it is more of a um it is it is like a younger brother to the raw whitening oil it does the same thing but they are of different grades or different um um sophistication if that makes sense Now, the lotion consistency of this product will allow for easy penetration of this product and its ingredients into your skin to do the work that it says it does. We have the concentrates for sale, so if you're interested, use the link in the description bar to reach us on WhatsApp to purchase. We ship worldwide. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please take this time to subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!